I got to meet the cast and director of American Reunion. American Reunion. Okay, so it's been almost a decade since the last real American Pie movie. There's been spin-offs, but I mean the real American Pie with the original cast. And now it's time for American Reunion, which brings all the cast back together, every single one of them. And they all come back and they're all ready for one last reunion. Now I'll start off with what I like. I like the fact that not all the characters have gone down the route you'd expect them to. Like some characters have gone a completely different route you'd expect them to. They're not all with the same people that they were from the first film. And I like that the writer and the directors did that because it brought us, it's brought a sense of realism, even though it's a comedy, it still brought a sense of realism and, you know, brought a bit of fresh heart to the characters. And the American Pie series is famous for its big comical set pieces, like, you know, action films have their big, you know, long extended battle sequences, well this has long extended scenes of comic, comedy. But there didn't seem to be as many as there were in the other films, and that may have just been me, there only seemed to be about three big set pieces throughout the whole film, so, which is like Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, just these set pieces. And that may have just been me, but it just seemed like, you know, there wasn't, they didn't gel in, in the middle, they didn't gel into one another, so it just kind of felt like set piece and a bit clunky in the middle before the next big set piece and a bit clunky again. It just felt like they had to have these set pieces and then they'd go off and have these moments where the characters would be fresh and have heart. But the film actually balances comedy and serious moments quite well. It never it never feels like, you know, we're we're jogging along through these serious moments. You actually feel for the characters, especially if you've grown up with them because you know all about them and you know what they've been through. But then that comes to one of my main problems with the film. I'm not sure whether people today who've never grown up with the American series will really get the humour or really get the story because there's a lot of references to the first three films. I mean there must be a couple every ten minutes and it's, you know, audiences they may have not have seen them. And that's the problem when you do a film ten years, almost ten years after the original, is that you have to make it kind of modern so that, so that the new crowd can get it, but you also have to like, have a nostalgic feel. And this film had a really strong nostalgic feel. I mean, it was filled with 90s music, and 90s music that I grew up with and loved. And it even made references to stuff in the 90s, like the fact there were no cell phones and stuff like that, and now that there are. And then it kind of plays modern music and makes loads of Facebook and Twitter jokes. And then to me, that's the film kind of saying it's not quite sure what... It's trying to switch between the two times, but it's not, it's not finding a happy medium in the middle. And it, it it just becomes a, a bit messy overall. It's not doesn't it's not consistent, really. Like I would have preferred it if, if they did a whole '90s soundtrack or a whole modern soundtrack. You know, it's nice to have that nostalgic feel, but it wasn't completely necessary. And it wasn't it wasn't one of the selling points of the film. The selling point of the film was to get some laughs. And on the last run, it delivers really well and strongly. Especially Jim's dad. Now Jim's dad, he, he steals the whole film. Any scene that he's in, you might as well just forget about the rest of the cast. Even Stifler is outshined by Eugene Levy playing Jim's dad. In fact, pretty much all of the male cast were hilarious on my main game. It was the female cast that were kind of put to a side and forgotten. I mean, personally, I found the film extremely misogynistic and it seemed like it wasn't portraying women in the light that it perhaps should have done. Now, understanding the first three films, you know, that, that, that happened as well. Women weren't exactly, you know, sh treated with respect and everything, but they were still done to a nice comedic and they were still given the heart and soul that they, des they deserved. And do you think now, that the, dealing with an older cast, that it would address the issue that they used to, you know, maybe treat women the wrong way and use them as sex objects, but the film doesn't really address that. In fact, it feels like the film's encouraging the misogynistic attitude towards women, as in the, uh, they used just because they want money or they want, they want sex, they're never given, you know, a real realistic approach which I think even though it's a comedy they it still needs to have a clear representation of women but that's really all that's negative about the film I mean, it, it, it still stands up as a, it's, a, it's a really good comedy I mean it's, it's probably the worst out of all four of them but that's no way a bad thing because they're all very high standard comedies which I find hilarious and so if you've liked the previous three you'll probably find a lot to enjoy in American Reunion and it's not it's not a classic like perhaps the original three were but it's still it still feels kind of relevant and, you know, it's a story they wanted to tell and it was nice to see they all gang back together and having these comedic times together. I'm going to give American Reunion three and a half stars. I thought it was a really, it was a really fun time. I was in an audience at a Q&A after meeting the cast and they all found it hilarious. So 
especially in the right atmosphere when you've got you know a, a nice crowd of people and you're all laughing. It, it is a great film to go see at the cinema. It's not a classic, like I said, but it's one you'll enjoy. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you want to see more, just click subscribe, and you can see more. American Reunion. I have not had a night like that since the 70s. Don't need this. You'd be surprised what you can do with a well-placed thumb.